What's good, YouTube? It's your boy RJ, and today we got another banger video by It's Complicated. We're going to dissect and digest the thoughts that are being shared through the video. Let's get into it. Is it easier for a man or a woman to acquire sex? Mm. It is much easier for a woman to acquire sex. Why mm. is that? Um, because we choose. We choose whether or not we have the option of whether or not we're going to let a man have sex or not. I don't think that that's necessarily that's true. That's true. Don't women typically what? consent to sex? Consent goes both ways. Right. Well, let me ask you this. What's the longest that a man's ever made you wait for sex? You know, it's happened. I don't know. But does that typically happen? <laughs> no we, straight answer. No, it doesn't typically happen. Okay, so isn't it fair to say that women generally control access to sex more, more than men if do? If a woman wants sex, she can get it. If a man wants sex, doesn't mean that he can necessarily get it. Okay, so Facts. is it safe to say that women typically control access to sex more than men do? Yes. Because it's easier for a woman to get sex than it is for a man? I don't like the phrasing that you're boxing me into, but I would... But I mean, is it See, she's too caught up on her previous ideology and understanding that's been fed to her by this new wave of feminism. At the end of the day, it's a straight answer. It doesn't mean that you're pro man and you're against women and vice versa. At the end of the day, it's easier for women to get sex. It just is what it is. Men, we've accepted that. Do we love that? That's how it is? No. But we've accepted it. Let's continue. Is I mean, would you have a different way of, of explaining it? I mean, is that not is that not generally true? I think that. I mean, if it if it's if it's if it's easier for a woman to get sex and it's harder for a man to get sex, we can't conclude that women typically control access. Okay, it's easier for a girl for sure. Yeah, guys are thirsty. Keep it real. Yeah. Since it's harder for men, should women be surprised that guys have lower standards for sex than women? Not really, because, I mean, they just want to get it in, right? Yeah, real quick. Yeah. I don't, know. don't women have the privilege of being more picky because they have more options? I mean, yes. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Don't women have the privilege of being more picky because they have more options? Yes. Have you ever heard of an incel? No. An incel? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, no, I haven't. Have you ever heard of an incel? No. <laughs> okay, incel stands for involuntarily celibate, and it refers to a person who can't get any sex. Who is more likely to be involuntarily celibate, men or women? Men. Yep. Um, men. It's. I think it's one in three men are not having sex right now. She knows something. Let's continue. In today's society, if a man goes up to a woman and asks her for her number or Snapchat, he's looked at as like a creep and a pervert. But if a woman goes up to a man, it's 100% okay. Facts. Which is not okay to me. Why are men shamed for not being able to get sex, but also shamed for trying to get sex? That's a good question. <laughs> um, I think it's a way, the way they go about trying to get sex. Because women want relationships. Well, I can't say all women, but... A good, good amount of women want relationships, and when you meet the men that just want sex, it kind of tarnishes everything. See, it's not even that. It's not even that. It's the fact that the men that the woman likes, they're fine with this behavior. But if, if it's from a guy that they find unattractive, unappealing, and not easy on the eyes, it is automatically assumed that it is creeping behavior. But if a guy is a straight giga chad, and he pulls up on the girls like, hey, baby, let me get your number. She going to give it so fast. She also going to give him his IG, Snapchat, and Facebook. And then she going to go ahead and DM him. So the behavior is only accepted when you fall into a certain category. It's not, oh, every guy asks his girl her number. He's automatically a creep. They pick and choose. Let's continue. Is it fair to shame men for being incels when women are the ones who control access to sex? I don't think you should shame anybody for anything. Is it fair to shame men for being incels when women are the ones who control access to sex? No. Not at all. Isn't that victim shaming? Yes, 100%. Isn't every man who's been rejected temporarily an incel? Yes. 
Is it fair to portray incels as lazy, immature losers because they don't conform to women's standards and selectivity? No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> incel. If a man can't get sex, he might be made fun of and called names just for that. Um, and then, well, also I think if a man does get a lot of sex, it might be like everyone praises him also for getting a lot of sex. So I don't really think that there's a whole lot of men out there that are getting uh, shamed for having a lot of sex. Is it fair to portray incels as lazy, immature losers because they don't conform to women's standards and selectivity? Negative. No. Everybody is built different and has their own standards in life. If a man does conform, does that make him a simp? Negative. No. Why is it more acceptable to shame men for having low standards versus shaming women for having unrealistic high standards? Mm. It's the same thing. That is right. I'm speechless on that one. Oh, yeah. I'm you kind of got me flabbergasted on that one. Right. You're flabbergasted. <laughs> Don't know what to say. Damn. Survival of the fittest. Whoever seems like they're about to get it in gets it in, and they continue their genes and whatnot. But besides that, like, I don't know. <laughs> I like the way she thinks. It's the survival of the fittest. If you want to survive, be the fittest out here. Get out here and get in the gym. Get out here and get educated. Get out here and start a business. Get out here and make some plays. Don't sit around and cry about it. It is what it is. Make it happen. You got the blueprint. Follow the rules. Understand the steps. And you will win. Let's continue. So would you say based on that, that women ultimately control the evolution of society? Yes. Based on, based on the men that they choose? Yes, it's because it's like the mating rituals. Like they say yes or no in most breeds. You so know, then like how species. are we living in a patriarchy where men have all the power? Mm. Just because that's how society was set up when women were supposed to stay home and take care of the kids and the guys went out and did all that shit and we're supposed to rely on them. What is the longest you've gone without having sex? A year. What is the longest by choice you've gone without that having sex? That was voluntary. A year? <laughs> Probably like 18 years. <laughs> what is the longest by choice you've gone years. without sex? Probably like a month. Who's more likely to lie about how long they've gone without sex, men or women? Women. Facts. Don't men lie about getting more and women lie about getting less? Yes. No. Come on, bro. Think about uh, it. Yeah. Think about Don't it. Don't men lie about getting more and women lie about getting less? Yes. Why? Because we're seen as being tarnished for the more sex that we have. Why are women who sleep around seen as sluts while men who sleep around are seen as studs? Because men don't want to see that their woman that they have pros prospect to be interested in has been with every man. No, 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 no. The end of the day, men, we understand one thing, that your work gets you results. So the guys that are out here getting results, they get praised because we're not born with this automatic set in value. We have to build that up. We have to work for that. We have to learn how to talk to women. We have to out here get in shape to get the best women that we want. We have to put in all this work to get those type of results. Women, on the other hand, if you're genetically gifted, you're good. You are okay. You're going to get the men that you want without putting in a massive amount of work. And it's going to fall right in your lap every single time. Think about it. Could it be because it's easier for a woman to be a slut? No. Yes, well, it is. Don't women control access to sex? They do, but there are many male sluts. They're just being praised for being that way. But isn't it harder for a man to be a male slut than it is for a woman it to is. be a female slut? It depends on the man. Wouldn't you say that the high value men with lots of options are rare? Yes. Yeah. So then wouldn't you say that it's more likely for your average woman to be a female slut than your average man? Yes. Yes. Women sleep with who they want. Men sleep with who they can. Facts. <laughs> Real life. What's That's the facts. difference between shaming a woman for being a slut and shaming a man for being an incel? In other words, why are women shamed for having too much sex while men are shamed for not getting any sex? Well, women can't have sex without being attached in some way. They're, it's just in our innate... What do you mean they can't have sex? 
Not that they can't have sex. They can't be. They can't have sex without having some type of emotional attachment. Why do you think men are more likely to be able to have sex without feelings than women? Because you guys are made to procreate. Mm. The name is involuntarily. Stand on that thing. So Stand the man on that. Is not yeah, he doesn't have a choice for that one. Oh, but yeah. us females, we definitely have a choice to be a slut or not. Well, because women control access to sex. I we control do. whether you take my clothes off or not. We do. Don't women have a choice to be a slut, but a man doesn't have a choice to be an incel? Yeah. So then why would it be worse to call a woman a slut than it is to call a man an incel? I don't know why it would be worse. <laughs> but it but our society labels it as worse. They, they, wait, they label being an incel worse than being a slut? Well, in other words, a lot of women resent being called a slut when mm -hmm. they have a choice to be a slut, but it's okay for men to be called incels when men don't have a choice to be an incel because men don't control access to sex. I think men don't have, they don't have the choice on what they're doing, but nowadays with social media going the way it is, women have actually embraced slut. And that's the problem. Do that's you think the women problem. Are more interested in relationships or hookups? Oof. Relationships. You know, I would say more hookups today. Cat. Why? Because they have all these rappers, you know, saying, influencing them, like, trying to. Basically, they're trying to play the role as men, you know, they're trying to play us out of our money, and it's bullshit. That's I mean, true, though. Personally, That's I'm more true. interested in relationships. Women nowadays, I think, are more worried about their careers and hookups. So if women are more interested in hookups, how can a man let a woman know he just wants to hook up without making her feel like a slut? There's, there's, there isn't a way, no matter what. There isn't a way because the core of women, no matter how much we have all this feminism, slut walk, all this crazy stuff going on today, at the end of the day, when a woman finds a man that she thinks is attractive and is going to be a good suitor to be a father and procreate with, she wants a relationship. No matter how much you throw on top of that, at the core, at the fundamental level, that is the same. Now, do you have women out here that don't care about the next guy, the last guy they just slept with last night after they left the bar? Yeah, you have women out here like that. But majority of the women that you come across are looking for relationships because women seek security and relationships is how they get that. Let's continue. So aren't we kind of damned if we do, damned if we don't? Yes, you are. <laughs> Would you rather have the best sex you've ever had or the best food you've ever eaten? Um, best food you've ever eaten. Yeah, food for sure. Best food I've ever eaten. I'm a foodie. I like. Food. Would you rather <laughs> eat all the junk food you want without gaining weight or have unlimited sex without being slut shamed? Unlimited sex, unlimited without, sex without being slut shamed. <laughs> Who are the bigger slut shamers, men or women? Women. Why are there men who shame women for being sluts when men also complain about how hard it is to get laid? Are those the same men? No. No. I think the men that are calling women sluts are looking for a woman that aren't sluts. If a woman's body count doesn't matter, why is it typically the first thing women bring up to shame another woman they are jealous of? Mm. In other words, why would a woman ever slut shame another woman? Um, because they know deep down body count does matter. Facts. Is the main reason women don't want to be easy is because they don't want to be shamed? Or could it be that they don't want to relinquish their sexual power over men? I don't think either one of those. I think the reason why women don't want to be easy is because we don't want to have a body count because we want to find somebody that wants us for who we are. And the guys that we're looking for don't want a woman with high body count. Yep. Why is it okay for women to feel entitled to be protected and provided for, but it's wrong for men to feel entitled to sex and intimacy? Mm. Keep it real. Um, I think after being provided for for so long, and once you're comfortable in the relationship, that men are going to expect for you to be intimate with them at a certain point. Are women doing men a favor by giving them sex? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. No. For, for a moment. If a woman rewards a man... This girl in the blue, even though she has the crazy blue hair and it kind of throws you off a little bit, she thinks with this, though. Not with this. With this.
and with sex, why is there still pressure on him to perform and satisfy her? I feel like men can be selfish, but girls will not come back if they're not like doing well. Yeah. Well, why should a man have to earn the opportunity to please you sexually? Because women get to decide everything in other species, so why not human species? Okay, but then if that's true, then why do we complain about being in a male-dominated patriarchy where men mm. control women? Mm. <laughs> because it's the hunter and gatherer type of discussion. Because we had to stay at home and wait for the men to come and hunt and bring that shit back to us for us to like cook and shit. So that's where it started. Are there female incels? I think so, maybe. Mm -hmm. There are. Would it be fair for society to shame a lonely old cat lady for being involuntarily celibate? No. How likely are men to have sex with a lonely woman out of pity? I guess it depends on who you ask. I'd say pretty, pretty likely. How likely are women to have sex with lonely men out of pity? Oh, unlikely. They just want men that are rich and famous. How likely are women to have sex with lonely men out of pity? Not so likely. Why is that? Because a woman wants a man that looks strong and feels strong and she feels like she's going to be protected and that's what they look for. So if you look like you're the weak one cowering in the corner, she's probably not going to go up to you. Men think that there are these issues. Like if you were more confident or if you just like put yourself out there more, you just like Fuck it, whatever, just do it. I guarantee you, it doesn't matter what the woman's standards are. That's what they're attracted to. Yeah. Let me ask you this. So if you woke up tomorrow and you were a guy and you wanted to get laid like most guys do, how would you do it? I'd go to a bar, find my pretty girl sitting at the bar, sit down, and I'd ask them if I could buy them a drink. <laughs> Literally. That's all you have to do. Make yourself That's what we do. there. Pre present yourself. Be confident. I understand that, but if that was true, why would there be so many guys who complain about being stuck in the friend zone? Mm. Because, because they're too busy trying to be the nice guy. They're not actually presenting themselves that they want this. They're, they're, they're looking like the friend, so we see them as a friend. Do you prefer a man who is a gentleman or a bad boy? I like a gentleman. Cap. Is it fair to say women lust after bad boys that want to settle down with nice guys? Yes. How do bad boys treat women? Like shit. What's the difference between a man who spoils his woman and a man who's whipped? What's the difference between a man that spoils his woman and a man that's whipped? There is um, no his difference. His level of consent and his part in happiness in doing whatever he's doing for his woman. If he's not happy doing it, if he's resenting her, it depends on the authority no. that he puts down. Like, there can be a man that spoils his woman in a certain way. He takes her to dinner, he takes her out, he takes her on vacation. And then there is the men that literally bow down hand and foot for their women that the women are running all over them. If a woman expects to be spoiled, doesn't that mean she expects her man to be whipped? No. Do men shame each other for being whipped the same way women slut shame each other for being easy? Yes. Mm. I don't know about that. I do know that men will shame their friends for being whipped and I think that's a problem with the patriarchy. Does every incel hate women? No. There is no patriarchy. Does every feminist hate men? Probably, yes. <laughs> yes. Does every incel hate women? I don't believe every incel hates women. I think that they might be shyer than most men. I think more alpha males end up getting more sex than more beta males do. Does every feminist hate men? Huh. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm not a feminist. I am more of a traditional woman. So there we go. I really can't speak on the tr on the feminist woman because I don't agree with most of them. What is the patriarchy? Patriarchy is you're gonna make me describe this. Okay. How, how do you define it? Well, the old white men in who have deemed what is acceptable for men and women, the roles of men and women, social norms. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. We about to keep it so real. For these old white men, this illusional old white man who's out here controlling the world. I feel bad for you because the media has pushed this image that is automatically assumed you are the devil. 
And this person is only a person that's profited off of capitalism. They understand how, how the system works. They play the system the right way. They play the game the right way. Some people have even got to the level where they play the game so good, they can make the rules. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. But it's not the patriarchy. Because there are double standards on both sides. Period. Point blank. Let's continue. The leads. It's all back to old one white men deciding for everybody. Cap. Alright y'all, if y'all enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below some of your opinions about these some, some of these answers that you just recently watched. Y'all seen my opinions, I'm very curious to see y'all's. It's your boy RJ. Subscribe if you like content like this because more is on the way. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Deuces YouTube.